I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. Commodities are now seeing their biggest weekly gains since the mid-1970s, measured across a number of indexes. Now, depending on where you sell it, we have new reports of corn now selling for $8 a bushel. That's roughly double a year ago. Soybean futures topping $17 a bushel on the board for a time, while Chicago wheat broke through $12 on Thursday. All of this spurred by the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, where shipping has all but stopped. That region accounts for roughly a third of world grain supplies. Rapidly rising prices has countries searching for grain. One ag economist is worried about a global food shortage. He's asking leaders in Washington to consider releasing some of the acres set aside for conservation so they can go back into production yet this year. Well, I think we need to be now under these extraordinary wartime circumstances, be thinking outside the box. He says current estimates suggest there are 600 million bushels of corn contracted for export from Ukraine that's now trapped. Meanwhile, a new drought monitor shows drought now consumes nearly 60% of the lower 48, the most since 2012. Dryness in winter wheat country, raising concerns about the scarcity of wheat globally, while out west, the snowpack in the Sierra Nevadas is disappearing following the driest January to February on record. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com.